Hey guys, this is a quick setup manual for your iPad. So this is the latest version of iPad, latest model. And you guys will notice on the top, it's where you guys power it on. So if you guys are gonna turn it on for the first time or just to turn it on, just hold on here. You're gonna see an Apple logo loading up and then we can get started with the setup. So just hold on to it until you see guys see the Apple logo. Now it's supposed to come with some charge, so you do not need to charge this up before you start this. If um, in fact it's not turning on, battery is completely dead, I would return it right away. Cause that means that it's refurbished or something's going on. And the battery's not supposed to be completely dead. You're supposed to have some charge on it. Once you turn it on, just choose your language. There's a lot to choose from. And then just go into next. And you're gonna see your region. So scroll down to check out what region you're at. Go ahead and choose it. Appearance. You guys can go on and choose how big you guys want these things to look. For me, default's good, so we're gonna go into continue. Once you press on continue, you're gonna see this quick start. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can put it beside it, make sure Bluetooth is turned on, don't have power saver mode on or anything like that. You will see something popping up on your phone or on your tablet, so you guys can do this quick start. Now, let's say you guys are brand new, or even if you guys don't want to transfer anything into this iPad, you can go on and set up without another, and then, choose your Wi-Fi network, put in your password for it, and then we're gonna choose join, wait for it, and you should connect up. Can you use a hotspot? Yes, you can. Hotspot's just fine for this whole setup. It's a Wi-Fi network after all. From here, just let it be for a little bit. Some iPads do require an update, so get ready for that. And your battery, for example, my battery is at 87%. Again, I did not charge this iPad, it is brand new. And we're gonna go on to continue from here set up ipad so uh, if this is for your kids down here below you're gonna see set up for child in my family so go on and set it up like that if you want or if it's for you choose for myself then touch id so your touch id it's gonna be on the top left hand side just tap on it and you're gonna set up your touch id so we're gonna go on and do that several times just place it up and down of course, you can skip this, so there was the option to skip this if you don't want to input any personal information. Press OK, continue on, almost done. It's just going to capture the edges. Since there is no home button, this is the new way to do this touch ID. And you can add another one. So usually if you're holding your iPad this way, you're going to use this hand. If you're holding it vertical, you're most likely going to use your right hand. So that's why it asks you if you want two fingers. Or you can even add your kids or your wife's fingerprint there if you want but if you don't want to just go on into setup later in settings which was an option before as well so we're gonna go there we can create a passcode there's always passcode options so we can go into four digits instead put in something like so if you want to or make it secure i would suggest making secure but if you guys don't want to Go ahead and make it very accessible. So right now we put in those things. This is the part where if you guys had an, another Apple device, you guys could transfer everything in. So from iCloud or another iPad, just go right into it from your Mac or PC. PC, not so much from Mac, sure why not. From Android, doesn't work that great. So I would skip that. I would start from fresh if you guys come from Android. If you guys are brand new, obviously you're gonna choose, don't transfer anything. From here, it's gonna ask you for your Apple ID. So if you guys have one, go on and put it in. If you don't have one, you guys can create one from here or you guys can skip this if you don't want to transfer any personal information into this iPad. So we're going to choose, you know, this part if you guys don't have one. From here, we can create an Apple ID. That's your second option. And it's going to ask you, let me just show you, for your first name, last name, birthday, and it's going to ask you for your email and then you're going to be done. So let me just go back to show you the other one. And if you forgot your password, for example, you guys can go there, but I wouldn't do it from here, by the way. I would do it on your other device. And if you guys don't want to import your personal information, your Apple ID here, you guys can always skip that by setting up that later in settings. Don't use, and then, then go on. But if this were you, for sure, for sure, put your Apple ID. You will get this message regardless. Agree. And then automatic updates. I would suggest always going to download only just because some glitches happen, you might not want those to automatically install. So right now, you guys could enable or not enable, it's up to you, I would enable. And that's because if you guys wanna use your maps, it's important, that GPS. Siri, this is something that you guys can skip as well if you guys don't want to put anything personal once again. But 
If you want to set it up, this is how you do it. So going to continue. I'm going to choose voice number four because that's what I'm used to. I'm going to choose continue on. Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. And there you go. So you guys just had to read everything that was there so it knows your voice. It's, it will actually listen to other people as well. So if they say something like that, it, it's here you might respond. Most likely will respond. Anyways, this part. You guys want to share your audio recordings? You can. You don't have to. A lot of people choose. Not now. I'm going to share anyways. Screen time. This is something I think it's mostly for kids. Because you guys can add restrictions for apps and a bunch of stuff in here. Most likely for an adult, you don't really care. You know what you're going to use it for. And you can just skip this part so we can put it into set up later this again you guys can share this or not with apple i'm gonna share same deal with this you can share with developers or not and this part so this part is about light mode or dark mode dark mode is what i prefer however automatic will bring it light during the day dark during the night so it's not so harsh on your eyes plus if you guys want to keep it just on one just go ahead and choose light so for me for the purpose of this video although I don't like light that much, I'm going to choose light just because it's easier to read when you guys are watching this. And then get started and you are all done. What apps come included with your normal iPad? So this is a normal iPad, latest version, these right here. So you guys will notice all the apps, whoops. So once again, these are all the apps that you guys are going to get. You can open up the folders in there, but anyways, you guys can see them all here. If you want any other social media apps, which you will, Go into the app store they're completely free most social media apps and that's it that's all the apps you guys get you will need an app id obviously to download apps from the app store and by the way your camera's up there that's something new that's with newer ipads older ipads had cameras up here or down here depending how you're looking at it anyways right now you're all done if you guys have any comments questions you guys can write down here in the comments area and don't forget to watch the manual for the ipad if you guys really want to know the basics i do have another video that teaches you how to handle this iPad, how to do everything on it. But anyways, that's another video. This is just a setup video. And anyways, don't forget to write down any questions you guys have right here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.